Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing the recent market drivers. Thank you for joining this Forex Academy educational video. In this session, we will be taking a snapshot of the recent market drivers, which might explain the moves in Bitcoin, the Dow Jones and a couple of major currency pairs. First of all, we have the dollar index charts known as the DXY, and where the dollar is measured against a basket of six major currencies. This includes yen, the pound, the Australian dollar, the New Zealand dollar, the Swiss franc, the euro, and the Canadian dollar. The dollar index reached a high of 103 at position A during the middle of March. This is when Europe was in the grip of the pandemic and when the United States was not yet at its peak. We then saw a low at position B of 92.0 and where the dollar strength subsequently began to return. And now we can have a look at the possible reasons why. Firstly, we should take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Around the middle of February this year, the Dow Jones hit an all-time record of 29,500, before crashing all the way down to 18,400. This happened as the pandemic started to grip the United States. Although circumstances remain bad with the United States economy, the Dow Jones has rallied all the way up to the recent high of above 29,000, almost approaching the previous high record. But where the fundamental economics do not match from the previous rise from February, this may well have been a tipping point for traders who are already expecting reversal in price action, and potentially we see profit taking at these levels. Now let's take a look at the GBP USD pay, aka cable. In December, when Britain voted to leave the European Union, the pay was on a high of 13350 at position A. But when the pandemic hit, cable went down to just above 1.1400. Again, we have seen an incredible rally all the way back up to a high position of B at 1.3380, and then a pull lower to the current level of 1.2950. The shift higher can only be attributed to dollar weakness, because the United Kingdom is still suffering from the fallout of the pandemic, and where no agreement has yet been reached regarding the future trading relationship with Europe. The pair will likely find further weakness the closer the UK gets to a no-deal agreement with Europe. If we now turn our attention to the euro USD pay, we can now see at position A at the height of the pandemic in Europe, the currency pay was trading at 1.0600, before moving to a recent high of 1.1936 and falling lower to its current level of 1.1760 at the time of writing. The sharp reversal in cables high at 1.3380 and euro USD pay at 1.1936 can be attributed to the DXY reversing from its fall and bouncing off its new low of 92.00. The reversal of the DXY from 92.00 to a current level of 93.50 at the time of writing can be attributed to the reversal in the Dow Jones from an almost double top formation of a previous record breaking high. The economic fundamentals are not working as its normal stable market. Let's take a look at Bitcoin to US dollar which is currently trading at $10,230 but which found resistance at $12,000 recently. It is no coincidence that the price rejection coincided with the DXY bouncing off the key level of 92.00. While some analysts will argue that the markets we have looked at today are not correlated either positively or negatively, the numbers and charts speak for themselves. When trading, always try to factor in as many assets as possible to try and establish which might be affecting the other and how it might in turn affect the asset that you are trading. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.